How do you know whether or not your ex is breadcrumbing you or not? Sometimes exes will come back around and they'll start testing the waters. They'll put out feelers and kind of see, you know, where you're at. Are you still this like super eager, like needy person that they left a while ago? Or have you started to really change over the last few months into somebody that is desirable and maybe even somebody that's talking to other guys or girls? But feelers like this is not breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbing is essentially when, you know, your ex texts you out of nowhere and they might say something like, oh, hey. And it's really just as simple and as short as that. And in the scenario where they're, you know, putting out feelers, eventually that conversation uh, might go somewhere over the course of a few texts. Whereas if they're breadcrumbing you, they're going to be short. And really what they're trying to do is just kind of like get you to start chasing them. So they'll intentionally be super short and whatever you put into the conversation will backfire on you because you have already put in too much effort, whereas they went in super low in terms of effort level and they're going to stay low. So that way you have to keep doing more than them and it's going to create a frustration inside of you where you want to chase them and now they can feel your validation. But if your partner's putting out feelers as to like, you know, where you're at they're gonna probably ask you some questions or they're gonna interact with you a little bit more because they need to get a sense of where you're actually at. Whereas an ex that's breadcrumbing you, they don't care where you're at. They just wanna feel you chase them. They're actually assuming that you're in the worst place possible already. That is that you have no dignity and you're just gonna chase them because they even just said hello to you. So understand the difference there. Now, in any one of these scenarios, whether they're breadcrumbing you or they're actually putting out feelers, okay, the solution for both of these scenarios is actually exactly the same. What you want to do is go one notch down in terms of their effort level. So that way, no matter how much they're doing or what their intention is, you're going to be naturally doing the right thing, which is putting in slightly less effort than them. It allows them to start chasing you. Now, if you want to show me your text thread with your ex and get some feedback on uh, what to do or say next, what you can do is click into this my profile and then click this link here. And from there, you can book a call with me and start sharing your text screen with me, your thread, or you can ask a single question, or you can even get my course on how to text your ex after no contact.